And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. Dominion over all the earth. Subdue it. And now, we blame, among others, the problem of poverty on God. Because it's so much easier to blame God than to face the reality that we would rather do a not really necessary upgrade to the latest iPhone or laptop, rather than to help someone in poverty, locally, or abroad. Now you might say, okay Daniel, ouch, or, well that's not me Daniel and here's why. Fine, let me show you my point and what I'm really trying to say here. Did you know that according to United Nations, the price to eradicate global hunger is 45 billion dollars per year until 2030? No? Yes? Did you also know that we humans on this planet spend around 230 billion dollars yearly on casino and online gambling and close to 270 billion dollars on video games I can keep going tobacco products we put in around 767 billion dollars every year yearly global military spending almost two trillion dollars yes these industries are creating jobs but look at the massive amounts of money we put into them and then look at the mentioned budget it takes to eradicate global hunger and yes there are also heroic great people and organizations out there but these shocking statistics has to make us all from pizza delivery guy to president stop and think what are we doing to ourselves and the world? God, how can you just sit and allow this poverty to happen? How can we just sit and allow this poverty to happen? Look, I'm not saying that you can't own a weapon for self-defense or buy a lottery ticket once in a while. And as scripture says, the worker is worthy of his wages. But my goodness, we humans have been given more than enough by God to end global poverty, more than enough. But instead, we point finger at God and say that He should do something, while we would rather want to use our own free will to spend our resources on selfish and oftentimes unnecessary materialistic items that are just new versions and upgrades on trivial things. Now you can keep blaming God for poverty all you want, but I can't. Not when I'm looking at the stats, at my own life, and at my own heart, and a fallen world that desperately needs Jesus.